Woo! Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Alex. That is Mr. Jones, 1969 Valiant. That is Big Red 86 D150. And it has been a long time since I've done a video. And I haven't done any work to the car in three months. So I apologize, guys. I apologize to Mr. Jones. I feel really bad about not, not doing anything, but it's been a weird year. And I hope everybody is doing well. But today, we need to go ahead and reestablish, reevaluate what we have on Mr. Jones, get started back on the project. So over here, I have a notebook and we have an old list right here. And it looks like back in May, we kind of made a list too. But I want to go back over Mr. Jones and tell you guys a few issues that I've run into and also just build a list and let's, uh, let's get this project underway. So as you can see, we have some cobwebs and stuff here. But one of the things that's kept me from working on the car, first off, the heat in Florida is ridiculous, but also ran into a couple little hiccups that kind of frustrated me. So one thing that I really wanted to do is on this turbo is have a three and a half inch pipe run all the way out. And it just looks like I'm not gonna be able to do that because of the torsion bar if I did the conversion for coilovers, then I could run that pipe. But what I was trying to do is, like in the video where I made the merge pipe, what I was planning on doing is squishing down the three and a half inch pipe to make it oval to where it fit through, and then put two two and a half inch pipes in there and run dual two and a half inch exhaust all the way out the back. But I just hadn't been able to get that thing to work. So I think just to, until maybe I get coilovers later on, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it, put a two and a half inch pipe on it, which is gonna choke down the turbo tremendously and just run it that way. There's another guy that has a similar setup running that and he's, uh, he's running like tens in the quarter mile. So we know it'll do that. Okay, so in the back of the car, I know that there is a brake line that we have to do. We have to figure out what we're gonna do. This one's a stock. 69 Valiant steel line length and just wouldn't work with the rear end that I put in there. So we need a little bit longer brake line. So that'll go on the list. And also these, this disc brake conversion kit that I got, I got the one with e-brake cables. So with the subframe connectors in, I can't run the e-brake cables the way it was from the factory because the front of the e-brake cable is on this side of the frame and it crossed over in the back to the other side. And with this not there, it just had a little angle at it. But I'm gonna have to figure out a way to run the e-brake cable too. So I definitely wanna have the e-brake cable, just a safety feature. And then, like I said, we need that back brake line. So we can go ahead and put that stuff on the list. Off the top of my head, I know we need a transmission cooler also. So I'm gonna put that on here. I bought the heat sink type. I know that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is put the cooler off of the red truck onto here and then put the heat sink style onto big red because there's just not room on here. As you can see, it's already full of fans over here. And then on this side, obviously we don't, we don't wanna run it on this side. It'd have heat running into it. So that's on the list. Went ahead and put a new little ignition relay in here and we definitely need wiring so all the wiring needs to be done and then as you can see i don't have spark plug wires on i do have some that was given to me they're just a set of eight millimeter excels that you have to put together i'm going to use those and i have the Cardone distributor that I bought a while back ago. And the reason I hadn't put the distributor in yet is because I want to prime the oil system before the engine starts, because this motor hadn't been started about five years, I believe. And then also I want to have my feed line to my turbo and my drain set up so that when I do my, my oil prime, it'll prime the turbo as well. So, um, Another thing, this isn't gonna work. So I have a 90 degree 
that I bought that is going to be, uh, I think it's going to be here about Monday, Tuesday next week. So we'll give that a try. Hopefully it'll clear underneath here. This has been the problem with this the whole time. So what else? We're also going to need spark plugs that are a cooler temperature range. And our turbo oiling system. As far as the fuel system goes, the fuel system has been run all the way to here. Everything back is done. So I just need to get 290 degrees for here with some dash six and then run them to the Phytech. And I probably just used 90s with that too. And kind of not liking the way it's going to route, but uh, it's just kind of what we're going to have to deal with. Okay, also added the fuel lines, drive shaft loop, windshield, roll cage, shocks, heater core, cooling lines, and uh, the turbo downpipe I was talking about. And for you guys that's been watching this whole build, if y'all are thinking of anything that I've missed, um, you know, I'm going to find stuff as we're going. But make sure to remind me down in the comments. But, uh, you know, really looking at it, all the big money stuff has been spent, and we just have this list here, which isn't horribly bad so i think uh you know if i can stay with it get parts coming timely then uh, we'll have this thing done pretty soon and uh just keeping my motivation up more than anything the weather's starting to be nice today started out at 70 degrees and uh here's some wiring stuff i bought just so i can get the wiring done so we have some new wires run to stuff some fittings and all relay for the fan and you know just trying to move this thing along get you eating cheese on the camera say cheese cheese <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's going to do it for today just wanted y'all to have an update on what's going on with mr jones here i'm um, going to probably get started on the stuff that i have parts for so the wiring the spark plug wires throw the distributor in temporarily until ready to uh to prime the system but that's gonna do it. And for the new people, I always put down in the bottom the quick build of the, uh, the Valiant. So the rims, tires, engine setup and all that. So that'll be down there. But um, that's gonna do it. And we're gonna go ahead and get to work on some little stuff and hopefully tomorrow be able to get some stuff done and make another video for you guys. Keep you guys updated and keep the project rolling. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you next time.